In the coronavirus pandemic, President Joe Biden got his third dose of the Pfizer vaccine today, something up to 60 million Americans are now eligible for. CBS 4's Elise Preston has his message to the nation. President Biden rolled up his sleeve for his third dose of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine while pushing for more Americans to get vaccinated. A quarter of the country is still so unvaccinated and that's not continuing to have a problem. Last week, the CDC endorsed boosters for seniors, medically vulnerable adults, and people with high risk jobs, like healthcare workers. But in New York, some healthcare workers have refused any vaccine shots. And with the state's new vaccine mandate in effect today, they could lose their jobs. Krista Michael has worked as a nurse at Unity Hospital in Rochester for more than 30 years and says she's not ready to get the vaccine. I'd like to see how people who have taken it are doing physically in the next year, couple years. I don't plan to resign. Um, I will go to work until they escort me out. An estimated 16% of New York's healthcare workforce is not vaccinated. In the state's vaccine mandate, there is a medical exemption, but not one for religious beliefs. New York's governor was at a clinic Monday that's administering COVID-19 vaccine shots. She says she's prepared to declare a state of emergency or call up medically trained National Guard members to keep hospitals and nursing homes staffed. Can't we just say that that is a basic right that everyone has to know that they'll be safe when they enter a health care facility? Other states are watching. Healthcare vaccine mandates with no religious exemptions are about to go into effect in Rhode Island and Maine. Healthcare workers in 17 other states and Washington, D.C. can claim a religious exemption, but must be tested regularly. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. Health experts say the nursing shortage in the Northeast existed even before New York's vaccine mandate. Many nurses are working temporarily in the South, where there are more people hospitalized with COVID-19.